Good evening. Uh, welcome back to Free Wild Outdoors with myself, Dylan, and we're out fishing. To be honest, I wasn't supposed to be out fishing. I'd already cancelled a trip today, a session, and uh, I don't know, I got home, sun was out, it's beaming, high tide is in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I'm not entirely sure, but it's in a little while anyway. So I thought, why not? So I've literally just come down to Totland, I've got some squid, I've got a single mackerel, and I've got two spider crabs. So I'll see if there's something about, I'd like a bream, I'd like a hound, or I'd like a bass. I'd like anything, but I'm not gonna be staying here for long, maybe four hours, but I need to get set up, get these baits in the water. It is glorious, sunscreen. Remember kids, always wear sunscreen. Right, let's get set up. Super, super bright. Sorry, I'm not trying to be cool by wearing shades, but it is super, super bright, and the sun is right, right there behind you, pretty much, and the glare coming off the sea. It's pretty strong. It's pretty windy. I got my. This is on my phone at the moment. Camera set up there. I thought I'd just do something a little bit different. Somebody said I talked too much recently, which has shocked me. But uh, yeah, I do talk quite a lot, so I do apologise, and I will try and get more rod action in. But let's face it, if the rods aren't bouncing, there's not really a lot to see. So, uh, rig on the uh, the GT tonight is just quite a short pulley, maybe only about 80, uh, 80 centimetres, 800 mil. Uh, obviously, slightly shorter snood. That's on a size 2, 2 0 wide mouth. That's going to fish the bigger baits all night on that one rod. So, let's get that one baited up. Right, so start with, I got, it's a joey mackerel, so it's probably about the fillets off and then chopped in half and then half again down the spine. So I'm gonna whack that on my, got one of these two prong bait needles. Piece of squid, maybe about a quarter of a squid. Bind that up. Like so, and like I say, it's a wide mouth hook, so should be plenty of plenty of hook points showing. There you go. Look at that beauty, nice and neat. That's on the pulley. Let's fire that one out in a second. Quickly rate bait up smaller rig, probably size two, size ones. Hopefully that would be the uh, one to pick out a bream. Right, so, scratch and rig tonight, thereabouts. <laughs> It'll probably change, it always does. Let me rag. Uh, looks like size one, uh, Kamazan match hooks. Uh, and as you, most of you know, if you've already watched some of my videos, I do like a Portsmouth loop rig. So that's on a Portsmouth loop rig. It is snaggy out there, and I'm probably gonna lose a couple. But I just like this rig. I think it, it puts one right on the bottom and then one floating in the tide. Perfect. And all I'm doing is just threading on this. One bit of squid. I see I've got no worm tonight, so. Hopefully this will do the business and I can get a bream. There are a few around, they're not here in numbers. I have tried a couple of times already, but with no luck, so. Hopefully, today will be different. There we go. 
that is a nice little bait for a bream. And again, exactly the same with the mackerel. Just feed the hook through the bait. I'd like say this isn't a how to, this is a how I do, which if you've watched any of my latest videos, you know it actually doesn't work that well anyway. But I think most people pretty much bait the same. There we go, and that one there, hook point nice and proud, nice little bit of mackerel. Hopefully, we can bag us a fish. There we go, we're out, we're fishing. Finally. Yeah, it's quite windy today. Like I say, it's, a, it's gusting like 20, 20 to 25 miles an hour northeasterly. It's probably only about 15 to be honest, but it's coming straight in that way. Tide's going in, so the tide's going that way. Uh, and you can see it going over the ledge there. Um, yeah, who knows? I don't know how snaggy it's gonna be, but hopefully we can pull out fish. Oh, just quickly while I'm waiting, see my hands are covered. I'm just doing up the uh, crab bait, so I'm just wrapping a bit of squid up the side of it just to bulk it out a bit. So basically, I've peeled the crab, cut it in half, wrapped it up. There we go. And then I'm just gonna, if I can get the end of my elastic. There we go. Bind that on there as well. Basically, I'm just trying to get as much of the mucky work done now so basically I've got four crab baits slice up squid and all that sort of stuff because as you all know if you've used crab it absolutely honks there we go ready to go well <laughs> crabs are definitely out in force just pulled into one then just dropped off on the way in just saw it come up to the surface but yeah it's definitely some crab activity which is kind of a good thing it's a spider for sure and the spiders have start, started to show and if the spiders are in and the hounds should be as well not fishing that much into dark and it's not a massive tide so there's not a whole bunch of run but I am hoping it will be enough so I'm going to keep firing out these baits for anyway, I've just had the one bait change on each rod. Well, I haven't even chucked this one out yet. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Ah, well, been fishing for probably about 40 minutes. Not a touch. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, I didn't really expect to. Um, ideally, I want to be fishing a bit later into the dark it would be nice if the uh, if the tide was a bit later um, it's still pushing in though I can see it still going over the uh, over the ledge over there so um, I reckon I've probably got another hour of the push and then two hours of fish of the ebb uh, and that will just take me into darkness so hopefully the fish activity will improve a little bit then uh, on the ebb but well, I can't think of many other things I'd rather be doing to be honest than sitting here so I'll take it. Right, I'm gonna change that one on the left. Because I've got a feeling it's getting, it's getting a bit of crab activity. It keeps getting the slow, slow long pulls. 
difficult to tell in the wind to be honest but there's definitely crabs out there the first two were completely annihilated so I'm going to change that one up now I don't know maybe cast cast it a little bit more to the right hand side tide's still running not a lot but just it's probably just getting to the top of the tide so it's not as late as I thought it might be but yeah we'll see if we can pull something out anyway really thought I was getting a bite on my left hand rod then. Uh, I put just some crab legs on just to thought maybe it would pick up a wrasse and uh, definitely some movement on it but now it's stopped so it is quite hard to tell in this wind but hoping it's a sign of a little bit of activity but <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, it's pretty hard casting into this wind as well. I mean, it's not straight in front of your face. It's probably coming from pretty much the lighthouse, so maybe sort of half past, what's that, half, uh, half one, something like that, as a clock. About 45 degrees. But it feels like you're casting miles because it's taking loads of line, but it's actually the wind. Yeah, that wind is way up. And I think the tide is just about to turn. So we've got wind and tide all going right to left. So yeah, this could be fun. I just snagged up pretty much every cast is snagging at the moment that wind a little bit of weed I just snagged into somebody else's rig by the looks of it I can't really tell what sort of rig it is but it, I, I know it's about <laughs> it's at least a hundred pound uh, but I got it back so wind is well up so uh, hoodie's going on in a minute I'm gonna cast to the left which is with the tide um, will mean that the weed will go down the line a bit but I can't think what else to do really I do you know what I'll cast this one to the left and I'll cast one to the right and see if it makes a difference that's what we do experiment just checking my uh, tripod is in enough because like I say that wind is up uh, what I've done is I've cast it slightly to the left so the wind is coming from the right, pretty strong from the right now. So I've cast it slightly to the left and I've let out a big belly of line. So my thinking is the tide is also going to the left. The wind is pushing the line to the left anyway, so that belly of line should lock the lead in. And hopefully not snag up. Like I say, the last three casts have all snagged. I've lost one set of gear. Lost one set of gear and snapped a hook, got the other one back. But yeah, it's not easy fishing. God, oh man, not a single bite yet. Must be fishing for two hours now. Not had a single knock. So I'm definitely gonna have to change it up. I mean, it's still super, super bright. I'm thinking the next one, I'm gonna chuck in a little bit closer. So that tide is really running now. So I've got like a few macro, uh, few squid head and guts on a pulley panel. I'm going to just chuck it out like 30 yards. But yeah, it's not looking good.
Ah, oh, there we go, much closer in this time. One's probably like 20 yards, one's probably 40, 20 to 30, 30 to 50, I don't know. They're not very far out anyway. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get something. There's a, quite a few other guys fishing just up there. And there was a guy fishing just around the corner as well, but I haven't seen any fish come out. So. I'm not alone, but hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get something. Wow, not so sunny now at all. Clouds have come in, sun's disappeared, but now, now I feel is the time, as always. So I'm going to freshen up some bait. I've just been having a little play really for a minute, just in close, put a little scratching rig just down here in the hope of like, just with some crab legs on in the hope of trying to pick up a rat. But I've had literally not a single bite. Just had a couple of chat to a couple of guys that were lure fishing just down here. And they were really struggling in the wind. Uh, yeah, it's not very comfortable fishing. <laughs> so, freshen up the baits. I've got a crab bait ready to go out on a pulley. The tide has eased up. It's still pulling, but it's not as fierce as it was. And the light is going. So it's now or never, isn't it, really? Let's get some new baits in. Should have stuck with my original idea and not fish tonight. I'm gonna give it another hour. Wait till it actually gets properly dark. I've got another couple of casts left to bait, so I will use it while I'm here and brave the cold. Definitely could do with another layer. But yeah, it's windy. I lost the camera earlier. Yeah, we'll keep plodding along. Hopefully we can get something. <laughs> Might actually have something here. Yeah, false alarm, I had weight and then I dropped it straight away. Well, it's bringing it in, so it may well have just been a crab. But uh, yeah, there was no... Um, I reeled it in, it was all slapped, so something had picked it up and moved it. But like I say, it could have just been a crab walking with it. Uh, but yeah, there was weight and I really thought it might have just been a dogfish or something, but yeah. Halfway in, it went light, so... I haven't saved a blank yet. <laughs> well, that wind's eased up a little bit. It's actually really dark out here. It looks like it's just four o'clock in the afternoon on the camera, but it's not. It's really quite dark. And it's, <laughs> you see that? Six minutes to 10. Got a bit of weed on the right hand rod, which is bobbing up and down. So I'm going to quickly uh, bring the left hand one in, stick that macro lead out, slowly start packing a few bits away. Hopefully we can get something. It's not looking promising though, is it? I haven't blanked. Well, tell you, I have blanked. I blanked last week. I went fishing with Nobby and Daisy to try and get some smooth hounds. And I blanked. A knobby blanked, and I did have the camera set up. Daisy caught her first smooth hound at five pounds something, I think it was, or six pounds something. And two strap congas. But she didn't want to be on camera, so I didn't bother editing it. But yeah, she did really, really well. Cast it out, 
reeled it in. All I did was bait up. Uh, yeah, so I have blanked, so now I'll be blanking again, and you get to see this one. Aren't you lucky? Well, I'm gonna call it. A bit disappointed session, to be honest, but there we go. It does happen. It happens too often, to be honest. Uh, well, more often than we'd like. Not too often. That'd be like saying I blank all the time, and I don't. But I do blank, just like everyone else. Uh, yeah. A bit slow, not one single bike, couldn't believe it. Tried everything really. Um, all sorts of different rigs, different distances, different baits, combinations of different baits. Just wasn't happening. Those guys over there, don't think they've caught. But yeah, what can I say? Big old blankaroo. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. Sorry it's a little bit of a disappointing one, but I've got to get the blank out of the way now before a comp. So got a comp on Saturday, hopefully, do a little bit better. It's a daytime comp. Daytime comp after RAS. So hopefully I'll get one. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and I'll maybe see you out there. Cheers. she blows again it is windy i'm not gonna lie